Stanley Stick, read by Key. Hello. Uh, this is a story, a brilliant story, called Stanley Stick. And it's kind of about um, a stick, but people's names or naming things. Now, even though uh, my name is Key, my real name is Kieron. Isn't that strange? So some people call me Ronnie, Key or Ronnie. Um, funny old world. Have you got any other funny names? Any nicknames? I've also got a nephew called Stanley, who I love very much. He's brilliant. Okay, Stanley Stick. Stanley. I'll try and show you as many, many pictures as possible. Stanley stands on Stockport Station with his stick. Stanley always carries his stick with him wherever he goes. Stockport Station. Can we see that? Stanley's stick was one part of something tall and grand, and it will never return to that tall, grand thing. Hmm. But it can always be used as a stick as best as it can. Stanley has a lot of stick activity, like pretending the stick is a whistle or a banana. That's quite strange because you can't peel a stick. Uh, you don't have to be great to be great. Like uh, pretending the stick, ooh, like pretending the stick is a match to catch the world aflame. There is a game after sticky game. Look, it's a dinosaur. Can you see? It's called the Stegosaurus. The Stegosaurus. Stanley has tried out some names for his stick. What's, what's your name? What are the names of your family? Names. So Stanley has tried out some names for his stick, like um, Starry and Moon. Come on, say it with me, Moon. Um, but those names were all the wrong shape for the stick. For a while, he liked uh, Sturry, the name Sturry, but sticks aren't spoons. That doesn't work, does it? Stanley's stick is good at writing in the sand, but Stanley writes in a language that no one else can understand. Oh, and four times now, Stanley uh, has used his stick to pick up slugs from the pathway, uh, the platform and the pavement, uh, thus saving them from a fate worse than feet squashing them. Stanley's friend Bertie has some string. Woo! Lucky Bertie. And sometimes they tie the string to the stick's end. And they go pretend fishing. Because the fish are pretend, uh, no fish actually get hurt. But they both get very hungry because there's no fish to eat. So here is Stanley standing on the station. Taking a stick for a short stay at the seaside with his mum and dad. The train pulls up. Down at the seaside. Sounds of water. Stanley goes down to the side of the tide. His folks take stock of Stanley standing in the sand, stick in hand. What is he doing? said mum. Maybe the boy thinks, I'll do the mum voice again. Maybe the boy thinks it is time for the stick to be taken to, uh, to be enjoyed by somebody else. Stanley hurls the stick into the tide. Gosh. Psh. Look at all those somersaults the stick did. Splash. What a tiny splosh for something that has been so big in Stanley's days. Oh no, that was a tiny splash. Oh, but the stick meant so much to me. The sea picks up the stick. 
the whole sea picks up the stick with a wave and tucks the stick into itself. Kind of like when you tuck yourself in with a duvet, you get all cosy. The stick has gone down into the sea as being, it's all cosy in a wave. Stanley is stickless. Who can do a sad face? You've just lost your sit, your stick. Hmm. And maybe you feel sick, because you lost your stick. Hmm. Um, here we are at the seaside. That's the sound of a seagull. The next morning, back at their spot, uh, on the beach, the tide is out. It's so far away. Stanley treads towards the spreading sea. Boat rides, uh, boats ride sea back out on the distance. Stanley decides to look for interesting sticks to become part of his life once more. For other sticks, which have been carried, uh, twiggy back upon the turning tide. He's basically looking for um, sticks that have been washed in by the beautiful, beautiful sea, the ocean. Soon he stumbles upon a stick. Um, okay. Soon he stumbles upon a stick alone upon the shore. It is quite different from the stick he had before. It's wonky, bendy. The stick is in a um, ah, the stick is an unusual saxophone. <laughs> saxophone is an instrument, if you didn't know. Do you play any instruments? Play a bit of piano? A bit of guitar? Da -da -da. The flute. Stanley thinks of home and begins to blurt out a tune for Bertie. Now, look at this wonky stick. Maybe at home today you could make something wonky. Maybe you could even go and find a stick uh, in your garden. Or when you're allowed uh, out for a little bit of uh, exercise, you could find a stick and you could turn it into a saxophone. But now Stanley's turned his stick uh, into a telescope. It's a wonky telescope, so when he looks through it, everything looks wonky. This stick, Stanley knows the name of. I've thought of a good name, said Stanley. My new stick is called Fantastic. Fanta stick. Stick. Stanley's Fantastic Stick. Why don't you find a stick today and turn it into some drumsticks or a telescope or a long finger anyway um have a lovely day bye bye for now